at the seminary where he stayed with me for a little while, he'd be at the breakfast table and immediately would get up and be away for five minutes and come back and said, I just wrote a song. The inspiration was there. He had the urge to do it. He went, he did it, and came back. I heard a lot of music in my mind and I didn't know what it was. And then I began to notice that the young people uh, were getting a little bit sleepy at mass or at, at worship. So I said, let, let me obey what I hear in my ears. They were just children who could not sing the, the songs that would come down from North America. One bread, one body, beautiful songs, but for Jamaican reggae kids, it's hard to teach ghetto kids to sing those. So father began to sing, to sing songs like, our father who art in her, and the kids began, began to enjoy them and it encouraged him to just keep writing and writing these beautiful songs. I will be done on earth, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. I began to write some, some, some hymns that are very Jamaican in style. You know, mento, calypso, ska, reggae, all those rhythms I use. And, um, and I saw them really responding. This day, oh, and daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive. I began to write more and more, and then we had this huge hit, which was a surprise to me, uh, a reggae song I, I, I wrote called Sinner. And that's a song that became number one hit song. Sinner, you're going to hell. Man, you have taken leave of your sense. You're going to hell. Master, you've taken leave of yourself. Man, your bird is dead. That became a number one hit in Jamaica. And Father made a promise to the Lord that every cent he received of that music would go back to the poor. Picture that man digging at a rock. Always green and sunny, Jamaica is indeed a tourist paradise on earth. And yet it is here that in 1981, an exceptional man, son of Chinese immigrants, Father Richard Ho Lung, begins his mission. He discovers Jamaica's darker, more sinister side, poverty, destitution, a reality driven by narcotic gang warfare and arms sales. Together with two friends, he founds the Missionaries of the Poor, begins the task of helping Kingston's poorest inhabitants, and soon becomes an untiring voice for their cause. The brothers work in their centers caring for AIDS victims, the physically and mentally handicapped, children, pregnant women, and prisoners. The brothers lead a frugal existence and seek no reward for their work in support of the poor. The poverty and misery of the less fortunate in Jamaica, as well as the difficult economic and political climate of the country, do not provide the brothers with significant financial support at home. Therefore, the help they receive from various donors and organizations abroad, including aid to the church in need, is very important and precious.